So we've been looking at vectors in a plane now. And I gave a vector, I gave it an x direction and a y direction. So a vector in R2 is basically an ordered pair of numbers. What do I mean by that? Well, it, it is ordered. It is ordered since the vector 2, 1 is not equal to 1, 2. Uh, the vector 2, 1 moves 2 in the direction of x and 1 in the direction of y. So it's a different direction than 1, 2. Well, a usual way to denote vectors is like this. Well, we can have brackets and we can have different ways of writing. We can write it vectors in columns, like we did here in columns, or we can use the row notation that is usual for calculus. For instance, calculus of functions of multiple variables there you will find vectors in row notation. So 2, 1, or 2, 1 this way. Well, this is easily generalized to higher dimensions. So a vector in the R3, so we have an x, y, and z axis. A vector in R3 is an ordered triple an ordered triple so just to indicate that we have three things that we can specify so a vector U consists of three components U1 u2 and u3 where u1 u2 and u3 are real numbers well in this way we may continue because why should we stop having three components well a vector in rn euclidean space rn is an ordered n tuple U is U1, U2 till UN. And these U1, U2, U2 is called the second coordinate, UN is called the nth coordinate. 